little bit of a problem with the, the lower axle shaft. Um, so yeah, this thing goes in, in here like this. It, the wheel goes on. My first thought was it was wear, uh, but it actually we went back and forth on whether it was actually supposed to be there for an unknown reason or if, uh, if it really was bearing wear or something, you know, something. But we've kind of come to the conclusion that it shouldn't be there. Uh, so the question was, what do we do about it? Uh, I'm Tim. I'm Zach's dad. And uh, I'm going to discuss the uh, shaft and the problem that we had with it and what we came up with as, uh, as a fix for it. Originally, uh, right, right in this area, right here, <coughs> it is uh, smaller than the than the rest of the shaft, and it's because it's worn uh, from years of use, and so we needed to repair it because the bearing is sloppy right at that point. So one of the first things we thought of was hard chroming or welding it up and then returning it, but both of those uh, processes are kind of expensive and take some time, got to be sent out and all that stuff. So uh, we <coughs> had decided that wasn't going to ma make the, wasn't going to do. Uh, another uh, way of doing it is a, a process called metal spray. And in that instance, you shoot molten steel onto that area and then turn it back down to, to uh, size again. And that's okay, but that costs money and you got to find somebody that can do it. And I don't, I don't do it myself. So then I thought about uh, maybe taking a piece of, of shim stock, and wrapping it around here and epoxy it to the to the shaft to make to make it come up. Uh, it's about six thousandths smaller here than it is the rest of the shaft. So <clears throat> and that would have might have worked, but then a, another the man that sold me the bearings said, well, there's one other way that you can do it, and that is uh, if you neural this part right here and raise the metal up, uh, that that accomplishes the same uh, thing. We bring this up to the same uh, size as this, and then the bearing is nice and steady on it. So that's what we decided to do. And I just happen to have the equipment to accomplish that. So that's what's the next step for this shaft. So here's the shaft, and we're going to put it in the lathe and clamp it down. And we're going to use this tool right here, which is called a hand knurling tool. And uh, what you do is you clamp this over the part, squeeze it down, and these knurls will then <coughs> spin around and and put a knurl on the on the part while the, while the machine is turning. So that's what we're going to do. if I can make it work.
All right, now we're going to find out whether we got it big enough. It needs to be over 750 in order for the in order for us to uh, go proceed, and it is 751 and a half there. 751 there. So we're in good shape. <coughs> you know. When I bought this machine, I umpteen years ago now, <laughs> this, this was in there, and I knew what it was, I, I, but I took a look at it and I said, you know, I'll never use that thing. <laughs> I said it. I remember. <laughs> and lo and behold, it was a lie. 